Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, I'm going to do some sealing today. I did uh, promise him, I think it was my last video or the one before, I can't remember, uh, that I was going to seal some of my items so that I can use them, make them a bit more practical because at the moment, yeah, the drills move about quite a bit sometimes. Okay, particularly when it's hot. Right, so... I've got my crystal art sealer from Craft Buddy. This is the one that I use all the time. This is the 400 mil. Uh, if I'm honest, I think I prefer getting the smaller tubs because I'm finding it now uh, I do need a very long brush to get into the bottom because, oops, can you see it? You can just about see there. I've used quite a bit. And then to get into the bottom, um, yeah, it's going to take quite a bit of doing. Um, I did actually say... <laughs> going to test out my uh, fan cells little brush that I got but I can't get my fingers in to get it down into the uh, sealer so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to use that on this time I'll have to wait while I get my brush um, I suppose I could tip some out no I don't really want to do that uh, while I get a new a new tub but I will try that out eventually and I've got a couple of little brushes as well this one I found, I've been looking for this all over, is actually my decoupage brush. Uh, let's see if it'll focus in. Yeah, that is an official deco patch. Um, if you know, like the, the like cardboardy sort of papier mache animals, um, and you get the very thin like washi papers. Um, are they washi papers? Like the Chinese papers. I can't think of them. Not vellum. Then you get like the very thin papers, a little bit like tissue paper, a bit like vellums um, to put over the top. And that's the brush that they recommend with their sealer that they have. Uh, I've had that a long time actually. So yeah. Uh, right. So unfortunately I can't use that one today. So I'll pop that one back in my drawer. Um, I have started a little bit and then I thought, oh, I'm supposed to be recording this. So <laughs> we're just making sure that um, my sealer hasn't dried out or anything. Uh, which it hasn't. I mean, I've had this one ooh, quite a while. I've been using this one quite a while. I've had it over a, maybe a year. I've had it over a year. I don't think it's been opened over a year, but yeah, I've had it quite a while and I've been using it. As you can see, I'm well over halfway down in it because I do seal a lot of things. So let's start on the bigger things first. We'll start on the butterfly. And I'll just pop those over there. Obviously, I'm going to have to leave all these to dry as well. I do like to seal my stuff purely because um, it just protects it. And you will find sometimes when you've got little bits and pieces that... Uh, ooh, that's not very straight, is it? Yeah, when you've got little bits and pieces on a canvas that sometimes in between is still a little bit sticky... And you don't want fluff and as I say in our case we've got our little Scotty dog Millie, you don't want Millie hair in the middle of it. So, right, let's get started on this little butterfly, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm doing my smash in the specials, so I have got a lot to do. Um I tend to find I put quite a bit on my brush because I'll, it does spread out quite a way and no it doesn't make the drills go duller you don't want a great big thick layer because actually you're not putting or you, your aim isn't to put the sealer on top of the drills what you're trying to do is get the sealer in between the drills it's like grouting a tile because it's the in between that uh, needs sealing that needs sort of cementing together <laughs> so that it keeps it all in place so you could actually if you wanted to if you are worried um about it dulling down you can just wipe over with the top of a dry baby wipe um or anything that's sort of lint free really i wouldn't use um i wouldn't use tissue paper or kitchen roll or anything like that because i think they would um possibly leave little bits of fluff or little fibers on it just try not to get it too much on the edge, but you do want to seal your edges. So, yeah, it is just, I find it real relaxing. I like it. It's like kids painting, you know, when you used to get painting by numbers and you can just splodge it everywhere. <laughs> Obviously, try and get in between the drills and give it a really good coat, but it doesn't take a lot. 
I've never uh, gone over and resealed anything either. I've never found the need to reseal a canvas more than once um, or a project more than once. I suppose maybe if you've missed an odd little bit, you never know as you're doing it, you may miss a bit. Then you could go back over and uh, redo it. But other than that, I've, I've just never found the need really. Uh, I just uh, go over it the once. Okay, just get a little bit. If you get a good brush, this is actually um, like a stencil dusting brush. It was bought for, I think it's a rare earth one from Create and Craft. Um, I got them on sale. I never buy anything. Well, I very rarely buy anything on full price. I do like my bargains. And uh, yeah, I've, I've never used them actually for stenciling or painting or anything. So when I started doing the diamond painting and started using sealer I thought that would be a really good brush it's nice and soft so it gets in between the drills without moving them out of place which is really good and yeah this craft buddy sealer again I have found that doesn't dull anything down it dries completely clear I like the fact that it goes on like a white coating because at least you can see where you've been <laughs> see where you were actually putting your sealer uh, it would make things a little bit difficult so just give that a good seal there get over that there okay so yeah and it doesn't matter say if you go over twice you can always just move it like paint it, it moves it's movable you can spread it out that little bit more and it will go over ABs, it will go over your crystal gems and I've even done very early on in my YouTube journey um, I did do a little experiment with glow in the dark drills and yes, glow in the dark drills will still glow even with the sealer over the top so yeah, I do tend to uh, like to experiment and have a play about with these things Right, let's get this butterfly done. It's very, very pretty. I think it was from Everyday e Crafts. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll have to look it up. And then I have got another one from One Day Saving that I need to get done as well. But that one's like an acrylic one that hangs by a chain, whereas this one is, well, they call them stickers. I mean, they're not really stickers, are they? Um, it's like a, a foam, a faux leather sort of foam that it's on, uh, EVA or E, I think it's EVA, now then I may just have a little gem that's come off there and I'm not quite sure where it's come from but what you can do if you find that once it's dried and you find that you've missed one, uh, sorry if the gem's come off then if you just get say a little tiny paintbrush and just get a little dab of your sealer onto your paintbrush and put it where the gem should go then you can just put the gem back in that little uh, place where it goes it will just slot back in and then it is sealed and it is stuck so yeah you can get um, various different glues to put gems back on with as well if you find that you lose one you know sometimes you do get an odd loose gem uh, that you've not quite put down properly or it's decided it wants to go for a walk and it's just going to lift itself off the canvas and go somewhere else. <laughs> okay. All right. I tend to take my time doing this as well so that I get a really good coverage and that I'm not using too much so it's really spreading out a lot. As I say, if you do find, yeah, I've got a little white one there. Now, I don't know whether it's come off this canvas or whether it's come off something else. I don't think there is any white ones on this, so that could possibly have come off somewhere else and it's dropped onto this canvas. So I'll just pop it over there for now. Uh, I'm just going to use a little bit smaller brush. Just got some on the edge there, just to do these little, are they antennas? The little feelers? Not feelers, are they? I think they're antennas. The little bits that stick out the top of the head. <laughs> Again, just get over those. Okay. Alright, just do that one. So yeah, I've had a few people asking me about sealing and what I recommend. 
I can only really recommend the craft buddy one because it's the only one I've used. I have got some uh, Mod Podge, but I've not used that yet. So maybe I'll have a go at getting a couple of different sealers because I've noticed quite a few of the um, sites now are selling like their own sealer or a sealer. Uh, some of it seems to come in like a bottle, like a, I don't know, it looks like a spray. I don't think it will be a spray. Um, but yeah, some people have, uh, but yeah, I thought, well, I'll maybe give that a go. I'll maybe just do a little bit of a comparison on them and see what I like best. But uh, to be honest, I've tend to found that because, tend to found, <laughs> I've tend to, f yeah, tend to found. I don't know. No, that's not English, Liz. Uh, I tend to find that if I find something that works, um, I've stuck to it. And in this case, the craft buddy has worked. It's not a bad price for what it is. I'm sure you can get cheaper. Um, some people do say, oh, water it down. But I find if you do put water into this, you can end up with bubbles. And you don't want bubbles on your canvas. I suppose it's not so bad on a maybe a, a project like this. You maybe wouldn't notice the bubbles quite so much, but on a flat canvas, if you start to get the sealer bubbling up, you are going to notice it. So it's possibly not the best thing to do. All right, and I may just get my tweezers out because I may just need to hold the edges of this without getting it on my nails. And then I end up with my nail varnish is coated. And that, to be fair, when it dries on your nails and dries over the top of your nail varnish, it's a heck of a job to get it off. <laughs> so it's maybe not the best thing to do. Right, just uh, stippling it there a little bit. Just to make sure that I've got into all the edges and uh, all the little crevices. Make sure it's fully... Yeah, and you can see, look now, it's already ooh, starting to dry. Let me grab a tissue. It takes a few... Oh, found another white one there as well. I wonder where these white have come from. That's really strange. Oh, unless that's that may be a yellow one. So maybe I'll have a couple missing. So I'll just put those over there for now. Unless I can spot it. But what you tend to find is because you've put your sealer on, it tends to go in. Um into the holes so then you don't actually see where it needs to be until it's dried and then you can see where the little holes are but uh, no I can't really see anything on there that uh, that needs doing so I've just got a little dry tumble dry sheet here which let me grab my tweezers and I'm just going to go on those edges as I say it does dry clear how many times have I said it dries clear it dries clear did you know it dries clear <laughs> And I'm just going to go from the underneath and just use that little tumble dry sheet just to get a bit of that excess off from there because otherwise you end up with it clogging a little bit. But yeah, that's not, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Just spread that out a little bit more again. There you are. Okay, so that's number one done. Yeah, so it's just a, a dry tumble dry, a dry, a dry wet wipe or a tumble dry sheet, something like that. Wet wipes are the best. Well, that's what I've found anyway. So, yeah, I think there may have been gems, you know, as you pick them up and you drop one and then you can't find it. Um, well, I think I've found it. <laughs> so that's number one done. Okay. So we'll do our little doggy bag next. Doggy bag. <laughs> okay, pop the tweezers. Now what I've put done with the lid from the tweezers? I don't know. I've lost it. That's not good. Yeah, these are just my... Gra oh, it's there, look. <laughs> the glass craft mats that I used to use for my card making. And I still do swear by if you're cutting something, rather than using a self-healing mat, I always found that I could work better on a glass mat because your knife doesn't slip into it and you tend to get a better cut. But, you know, each to their own. Um, whatever you use, whatever you like using sometimes. Uh, well, we all have different ideas, don't we? Different things. But, yeah, I always found that the glass cutting mats worked best for me, particularly doing intricate work. Right, so I'm just going to go on this little bulldog. So don't worry about going on to the edges because uh, it does dry clear 
but I try not to get too much over the edge um, like on this butterfly here I'll maybe just take a little bit of that off but again it dries clear it's not too bad um, oh I know what I needed to do do you know I was thinking there was something else I wanted to, to seal and I couldn't for the life of me think what it was and I've just remembered so I'll get that out in a second as well there's a couple of canvases I need to do um, I think there were some partials and one of them was the uh, Santa that I did for the Christmas in July so that's how long it is since I've actually sealed anything um, and his face was all sticky so I need to uh, seal around the face otherwise I'm going to end up when I put that one up I'm going to end up with fluff so yeah you can go across like noses and eyes and things um, I try to you know take it off or not leave brush strokes or anything because sometimes you can see the brush strokes but on the whole it's okay yeah sometimes on some of the cheaper canvases you'll find that they've just put the glue all over so the butterfly would be sticky and the eyes would be sticky they're actually not on this one this is a really good little canvas um, and i love this little bag and i love this little bulldog i think it's really it's really sweet okay but yeah we're just getting the protein tiles just getting the sealer in between the little gems Okay. I mean the bag's going to be, if it's used as a bag, it's going to be well used and it'll bump against things and uh, you don't want the gems coming off. And if you do give it to a little one, you also don't want the gems coming off, you don't want them swallowing them or sat there picking them off because it's quite a fun thing to do. Uh, yes, I have years ago when I used to have one of those little beaded purses. I can remember sitting and biting. I think it was a really boring assembly or something at school. I don't know why I was allowed my purse in assembly, but obviously I had it. And um, I was sitting and biting the beads off a, pe a beaded purse. <laughs> oh dear. Probably not the best thing to do. All right, so that's a little number two that's what i tend to do because it, it's a little bit messy and it takes quite a bit of drying i tend to leave it while i've got quite a few to do as you can see and then i do them all at once right you can seal onto a uh, fabric as well uh, again because it is fabric i try not to go over the edges but these are my glow in the dark and uh, this is my eye mask which yes several requests can I film if I try and scare hubby and yes I will I will give it a go and um, see if I can get his reaction to seeing the eyes shining at him it doesn't really show once it's dried with it drying clear but it can make the fabric a little bit crunchy shall we say so you don't really want to get much on your fabric if you can help it um, but obviously you do need to seal your edges because they are the weakest point on your dan on your dan painting so if a little bit goes over the edge it's not too bad you can just use your nail or a pair of tweezers or something just to get around the edge but uh, yeah this is this is a fun one and i will be using these because if i can get some better night's sleep it will be all well and good we do like to get better night's sleep oh the thought of having eight hours of uninterrupted sleep would be absolutely marvellous i think between hubby and uh, millie our little scotty i end up getting up two or three times during the night and i wake up just exhausted in the morning and it's ridiculous oh dear that's uh hubby's got his friends here this afternoon so i should be uninterrupted while i'm doing this they're playing with millie at the moment so That'll keep her thoroughly entertained. She likes anybody that'll get on the floor and play with the toys with her. And uh, yeah, the lads that have come do tend to like to get on the floor and play with the toys with her. <laughs> so let me just put that there without it going everywhere. And we'll just use this little one just to get a little bit on these little eyelashes. Okay, just get a bit up there and a bit on that one there 
Yeah, I tend to come out the way when Hubby gets his friends come to visit because it's all boys talk, um, you know, laughing at daft things. Um, yeah, he misses, you know, being with a lot of fellas. I mean, he did work with quite a few men and he did work, well, with a lot of people. So, you know, giving up work when you don't really want to um, because of illness, because of circumstance was quite a big shock well to both of us but uh, particularly hubby because he doesn't really have any hobbies his hobby is sort of socializing and people um and it's been terrible for him so yeah i love it when his friends come because you know he laughs he just gets really daft with them and you know, it's lads talk let him get on with it <laughs> Right, just getting those bits off there. Make sure that that's completely covered. Okay, make sure I've got the edges. I don't want beads dropping off in the bed. I'm constantly finding diamonds and drills and goodness knows what in the bed as it is. Uh, I think some of them come off Millie as well because she tends to like to snuggle right up to me when I'm diamond painting. And uh, I end up with hair getting beads on her and I end up with them in the shower and down the toilet and all over so crazy times crazy house right let me grab my tweezers and I'm going to do these little ones now these are from the slap bracelet now these have been really problematic I don't think the glue had quite cured oops you know when um it's really really slippy underneath so I'm just going to use the little brush on these as well but yeah, it's just really, the drills just move so much. And, you know, if you're using it as a slap bracelet and you're giving it to children, you don't want all your little drills, all your little gems dropping off. So I'm going to just put quite a bit of sealer around the edges. But I'm having to go really, really carefully so that they don't move out of place. Because I don't want them to then set in the wrong place. Okay. You could actually use those black plastic tweezers for this as well. So those tweezers that come in the um, tool kits, the basic tool kits. And you're thinking, what on earth am I going to do with these? I've got thousands of them. Um, you could use them for doing something like this. Because then it doesn't matter if they get sealer on them. Uh, and they get a bit messy because they're only the plastic ones. You're not spoiling your really good ones. She says, having using her good ones now, I'm wondering, why didn't I get the plastic ones out? <laughs> okay, let's just get into there. I'm just using the bits from the edge so I don't get too much. And I say I'm using a smaller brush just to, uh, so I don't knock them off again. Because when I actually took these out of the packet, look, there's one come off there already. So I'm going to have to uh, do that, put that back on, see if it'll come off the brush. Yeah, I had to put three or four drills on each one because they'd come off. Right, where's my drill pen? There it is, this is the one that's got wax in it. Yeah, you can see it's just, oh, popped off. Where's it popped off to now? It's there, look, it's decided to stick there. So I'm just going to pick it up with my drill pen. So again, it's an old drill pen, so I'm not ruining any of my decent tips or anything like that. It is just the standard brass tip that you get with your little tool kits. So, yeah. But yeah, these safe. I think it's because the glue's not being allowed to sort of set before they've put the cover on them. Um, and then it ends up with it still being like quite movable, quite liquidy when you uh, open your kit and when you take the cover sheet off and you go to put your drills on. So, yeah, all these green ones down here had come off and one of the uh, claws had come off down there, which I've managed to retrieve that and put that on because it is only a small little project. OK, so let's get the next one, the dinosaur. There was quite a few of the yellow ones. Oh, look, there's another one come off there now. Where's that one come from? So, where's this one come from? Shout out if you can see it. <laughs> Is it 
Is it that one? Is it a pink one? No, it's a purple one. So we've got a purple one come off somewhere. Okay, I think it's come off from there. Yes, it has. It's come off from the middle there where I've had my tweezers. So, yeah, just let me see if I can get it off the brush and put it back there. Nope, it's determined it doesn't want to stay there. Okay, gosh, it's like doing um, surgery this, isn't it? Get it to stick back where it needs to be. That's it, right. So I've not got any more come off, have I? No. <laughs> Pop that over there. Oh dear, and I'm doing this without my glasses as well. I'm going in without my glasses. Um, uh, let me just get this little dino done. It's uh, quite a sweet little dinosaur, this one. So I do like these slap bracelets. So I've uh, had quite good fun playing with them, as you've probably seen. Uh, yeah. We do need the uh, grandkids to come soon so I can go around the shops with them and play with all the toys. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I don't think I've got quite to the age sort of like part now where I can go on my own um, and play with the toys. You know, when you, you, you get older and you can sort of like say what you like and do as you like when you're like uh, pensioners or whatever. Well, I do a little bit anyway, but... Yeah, I do prefer it if I'm playing with the toys and there's a child somewhere near me. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so dinosaur. Yeah, dinosaurs seem to be quite a big thing at the moment, don't they? I suppose with the new Jurassic Park film coming out, which uh, I can't wait to see. I know it's on, I think, Sky at the moment, but it's about £15. I think, oh no, I'm not paying all that money for Sky. And then uh, having to pay to watch films as well. I'll wait till it's free. Thank you very much. Uh, there's, uh, the last one that they brought out. Uh, where they're rescuing all the dinosaurs from the island. I can't watch it. Um, well, I can watch it now. But the first time I watched it. When they had to say. Sorry if you've not seen it. Spoiler alert. Fast forward from this bit if you've not seen it but where they had to sail away and leave the dinosaur on the island. It stood on the jetty and it's looking real sad and upset because it knows it's going to get blown up from the volcano that's on the island. And its face, well, I just cried buckets. I thought, I can't watch this. It was just far too upsetting. That poor dinosaur, the just look of absolute horror on its face knowing it was being left behind. Oh, I don't know how they left it. Well, I do know how they left it because you know they had to because they had to save all the others but oh dear me well I couldn't watch it I haven't watched that film well I think I've recently watched it uh, but what I did as soon as I knew we were coming up somewhere near that part I just uh, switched it off well fast forwarded it and I uh, said right I'm not watching that I said what are you doing I said I can't watch that I can't watch that dinosaur being left on that jetty again it's just far too upsetting. I just wasn't expecting that in a children's film. But, oh no, I'm not having that. Right, that little devil there has started popping off, look. So other than the dinosaur, we've had trouble with all of them. Well, there is only three and I suppose I've had trouble with two, so. <laughs> Master of exaggeration. So we've popped that one back down. Oh, that's glue for an awful minute. I thought that was a shiny thing looking at me. So, right, I think I've more or less got this one done. But yeah, they're a little bit problematic, these. Definitely seal them before you give them to children. Yeah. So, have you seen the Jurassic Park films? What did you think to that poor dinosaur being left behind? Oh, gosh, I just cried buckets. Couldn't just have this. So, if the new one's got anything like that in it, no, yeah, no, yeah. can't watch it. Just can't watch it. It's just oh, far too upsetting. Right, so let's do these. So I'm going to do these now with the, the smaller brush as well. Because these are quite delicate. If it goes onto the plastic, uh, so it will dry clear. I think that's going to be the saying for this video, isn't it? But you're better off trying to not because it may just show up a little bit. If somebody really looks, they're going to see it. Uh, and it's one of those things, if you're actually doing it, 
yourself and you're looking yourself, you're probably going to see any faults whenever you look at something because we're our own worst critic, aren't we? We really do uh, expect high standards from ourselves. And other people will always say, wow, that looks wonderful. And you're just sat there thinking, yeah, but look at that bit. And look at that bit. And oh, I don't like that bit. So, yeah, just give this little star a little bit of a going over there. Right, yeah, if you've got any comments or questions about a sealer or if you want me to show you sealing something or doing something, then by all means, please leave it in the comments. As I say, I have had a few people ask me questions, which, you know, I will always try and answer. I'll try and find out answers for you. Uh, I'm by no means an expert. I'm just a little crafter that's been doing this for a while um, and done quite a few, well, a lot of crafty things for quite a long time. Um, and I do pick things up as I go along as you do you know you learn something new every day and I learn quite a bit from uh, you guys as well because you tell me lots of things you know it's great I love it I love learning I love you know if people say to me Liz have you tried this or Liz if you'd done that that would have worked better you know that, that's great I'm always open to people uh, telling me things and sharing knowledge and uh, you know it's what makes it fun? Yeah, I think I've just about got all of that. I thought there's a drill come off there and it's the little ball bearing going round in the middle. All right, where's my little Santa? He went sailing as well with his little star. Okay, I think I can use my fingers on this actually. I don't need the tweezers. I was just worried that actually those tweezers might be a little bit scratchy and might just mark the uh, perspex the plastic that this is uh, sat on top of i'm just trying to get a little bit on the edge so that i can pick up smaller amounts i hope we're getting loud again downstairs we're obviously up to something so. right i ought to get them diamond painting really they could be doing some of my diamond paintings for me couldn't they <laughs> Ah, do you? Right. Get this, uh, these little legs done. Oh, I've gone over a little bit there. I'm just going to wipe that bit, I think, before it dries. But the drills on this one have stayed really, really well. Not like the dinosaurs and the uh, little owls there on the slap bracelet. These have really gone on lovely. Okay. Again, these are going to be handled quite a bit because they're a little game on the other side so you don't want people uh, ending up with the Christmas dinner and they're sat there with their uh, diamonds, gems stuck to them. <laughs> What's this in my turkey? I don't remember it being this colour. Oops, sorry, that's one of mine. <laughs> tweezers again and just grab a little tiny bit just wrap it around the ends just wrap a little bit there and just go onto the plastic there and just wipe okay just stops it from getting too much onto the plastic as i say it can show a little bit um although it dries clear <laughs> It can show a little bit if it goes too much over the edge. So that's him. Okay, right. Oops. On to the gnome. Da, 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 da. So I hope you're still with me. I think this is going to be quite a long video because I have got a few to do. And I've got my bus to do as well. And then I can get the tissue put in that one. So let's go back to the bigger brush now because we can go back onto the big one and get this one done. Okay, just give it a good wipe i don't want too much on and this will actually go over the screws as well it's a case of deciding do you want the 
screws to stay in so that it stays 3D or do you want to avoid going around the screws around the edges um, so that you can unscrew them and take this off again so I'm not bothered I won't be taking this off uh, so I'm just going to go all over it but uh, yeah just think about that I think you would be able to unscrew them but obviously you're making your life harder if you've got a sealer over the top because it's a pretty good sealer oh we're having another good laugh again so we ought to be asking them are you telling jokes no actually I probably don't want to know <laughs> Um, the, apparently they'd asked Tubby last time they came why is she talking to herself upstairs and he just said oh she's talking to people at work I thought I'm not I'm doing a YouTube video I wonder why I didn't tell them is he embarrassed about me doing YouTube videos oh blooming neck. thanks for the support <laughs> I don't mind telling people you never know they might subscribe to my channel <laughs> I have um, come across a couple of channels from a couple of chaps that are diamond painters um, and one of, well good they both are very good um, so I'm just trying to think what the names are uh, one of them is single and placing and the other one is real men craft too so yeah there you are there are some men diamond painters and youtubers and they're quite good. I um, quite enjoyed watching the videos. I have subscribed to their channels. So, yeah, you know, it's uh, quite nice to have a few chaps out there doing crafting as well. You never know. I live in hope that maybe one day Hubby might come on to uh, diamond painting. I start diamond painting with me, but I doubt it. He's still not done his painting by numbers yet. But he might do. You know, I've got him a pencil um, crayon one, um, a, a painting, well, a colouring by numbers as well, because I thought that's a little bit less messy and he could maybe sit and colouring rather than actually um, painting and he could just pick that up and put it down. You know, it's a bit easier, a little bit like diamond painting, really. You can pick it up and put it down. You don't have to do it all at once, whereas painting, you've got to get your paints out and you got uh, wet paint around and you've got to wait for bits to dry and things like that so yeah okay i think i've oh no that's a that's a that's a uh, part where the screw has been i've got a little black gem here that's come off and again i think it could possibly be a spare one that i've dropped on the canvas my eyesight isn't brilliant this is the thing and particularly with black drills if I'm going to lose a drill, it tends to be black because I can't see them and I can't tell which way up they go. <laughs> so I'm just going to take that one off my brush and put it onto there. And I'm just going to have a quick look over and see if I can see if one has come off anywhere. And I can't see that one's come off. I'll just use my... Let's put it that way. Just use... Oh my goodness, I'm doing tricks as well. Now then, that could possibly be where it's come from because that hasn't got a drill on it. So I'm going to put it back over there. Come on, get the right way up. These are good drills because these are the ones that have got um, the silver on the other side. So you can actually tell which way up it is. So let's just put that there. Has one come off there as well? No, I've still got those there. So, right. Yeah, so it's not a problem though if you do find that once it's dried and you're just feeling, oh, I've missed a drill or one's not there, just get a little tiny blob, pop it where the drill needs to go and it will just go in place. There isn't any more in there, is there? No, it was just the one. Right, so that's little Nomi done as well. Okay, oops, I'll put this over here. I'm gonna run out of space in a minute. Right, so now we're on to chipboard. So this is my little doggy sign, which is gonna be hung in my hall. So I do need this one. Right, I'm just gonna pop that on the lid there. 
I do need this one uh, sealing because again, I mean, it's not going to get handled much, but it is going to be near the door where people come in and out. So let's just give this one a bit of a seal over. Uh, yeah, it's very pretty colours. I, I did say when I did my review on these, my completion review, that uh, yet yeah, these colours have worked out so well to, compared to how I expected. Yeah, I'm using the smaller brush for these because you know it is just writing. It is just one little um, line of drills, so I don't want to be splodging all over on this. And I'm not sure how this will dry because I've not done. Um, one like this before i've not done a chipboard one so we'll see how this one comes out i've done all the reeds and things um but i don't think i've ever done a chipboard one not like this anyway or plyboard i think it's more plyboard than chipboard but i do love like the pinky bluey hue that they've put over the top of it. it's got like a coating on it um, it looks very pretty so let's just go over these paws see you're not really wanting to cover the drills as such you are just going in between okay all right just get these little paws so let's get this here and do this one there oh it's, it's a bit like painting by numbers this anyway isn't it in this on <laughs> i do find it relaxing though i do like doing the ceiling i think it's the inner painter in me wanting to come out i did used to like doing uh, art and painting when i was at school but sadly my uh, form teacher when uh, i went to do my exams when I was choosing my options as to what subjects I was going to take, persuaded my mum and dad because she was the cookery teacher, even though she was my form teacher as well. She persuaded my mum and dad that I would be better off doing cookery. So I ended up doing cookery for my exams and I didn't get to do art, which I think I've been... Hindsight, I wish I'd argued a lot more, but, uh, you know, it's like being a teenager and uh, nobody understands me and nobody listens to me <laughs> so yeah in those days i did as my mum and dad said actually these days i tend to do as my mum and dad say as well isn't it annoying when mums are always right <laughs> i told you that would happen yes mum i know so yeah that was sadly the end of my uh, art and craft but i loved doing it i did like doing the art. I, I like the drawing better i do like drawing better than painting uh, but i think that's because at school we had those awful brushes and um, you know you didn't have nice brushes or expensive brushes or brushes that you could put the paint on with finely you know they were just like one standard about an inch thick brush with an inch tip and trying to do any fine work or precision work with that was just an absolute nightmare and uh, you try to paint a figure and you just end up with like a, a stick figure that looked like a five-year-old had done it you know and i didn't like those and as i say because i didn't do art i had to do cookery i didn't get to buy my own brushes so i never actually carried on with it which is a shame i did like drawing i did uh, forever sat drawing something or messing about or colouring in or painting or whatever this is quite a fiddly one to do but quite enjoyable as well quite relaxing quite relaxing i have thought about um i mean i do do I do do my craft shoe print uh, decoupage sheets and what I do with that is I tend to um, turn my art images into, um, sorry, turn my photographs into an art image and I do tend to play about with that. You know, if I've got a picture of, say, Millie and she's stood in the grass and she's not got any paws, then I will draw the paws onto her and things like that, you know, so that she's like a, a full dog, as it were, um, 
and I've been known to change markings on the dogs and you know if they've got their eyes shut I'll put the eyes back in and things like that you know I've done quite a bit of that but sadly my eyesight is not good enough now um, well in my opinion anyway as I say I've said earlier I, I think you're always very critical of your own work um, and I found as uh, I've sort of gradually lost the middle of the sight in my right eye uh, I had two vitrectomy operations uh, not last year, year before and they sort of worked but um, I left it too long to have it done to be fair um, you know the uh, the surgeon did say to me why have you left it so long and it was because hubby was in hospital uh, and I didn't realise how bad it had got I'd always knew that my eyesight wasn't brilliant um, and strangely enough it was one day uh, that the first day that hubby I was allowed to take hubby out of the hospital you know being in over six months and they'd said that uh, if we wanted to you know I could get a taxi and I could take him out somewhere so I thought oh I'll take him uh, down to the garden centre and we'll go and have a cup of coffee and he can have a look at the plants because he always liked his gardening and I thought oh, I'm going to put a bit of makeup on I've not worn any makeup whatsoever for like the six months that he'd been in uh, hospital and I couldn't see um you know you do one eye and then you do the other I managed to do one eye and then when I shut my uh, left eye uh, sorry to shut my yeah shut my left eye to do it I couldn't see anything with my right eye and I thought oh heck I better go and uh, get my eyes sorted out so yeah sadly um, I was never going to get a hundred percent from my operation because yeah it's um I'd left it too long the, it's basically a tear in the back of your eye um, in the uh, like jelly, the macular jelly at the back of your eye and because there's the tear there that actually leaves like a bit of a hole uh, sorry if you don't like talking about eyes, fast forward this bit as well um, and uh, yeah what they do is they put gas into the eye to push it back together to repair it and the first operation didn't work um, so they did it again and it sort of worked but uh, it is like an age thing as well and uh, as the time's gone on it's not as bad as it was when I went but it's certainly not perfect it's good enough I'm okay to drive I'm legal to drive thank goodness I don't know what I'd do if uh, I couldn't drive my car gosh we'd be absolutely stuck when I'm getting hubby to hospitals and things because the hospitals are quite a way off and it would cost us a fortune in taxis um, uh, yeah, because of course we need a, a wheelchair taxi as well because hubby can't stand, he can't, um, well he can sort of slide across from his wheelchair but he can't actually stand to get in and out of it so we tend to just get taxis where they can just wheel his wheelchair into the taxi and fasten it in because it makes life easier because if we can't get him out of the seat, you know, he is, well it sounds awful but he is a dead weight to lift um, and it can be quite difficult getting him in and out of places and we don't want him to get uncomfortable either so oh, Millie is definitely having a good conversation with them downstairs so yeah so that was the end of really my craft shoe print sort of um, stint of designing because say my to my opinion I can't see the digital edges even when I blow them up I still feel as though I'm not getting the precision that I originally got and uh, if I'm selling these sheets to people and people are buying them to make cards then I don't want to be selling people things that I just don't think are good enough so yeah all my old ones are still on there I've got a couple of thousand I think on there um, I think it's a couple of thousand I can't remember it's such a long time since I've looked uh, and people do still buy them from time to time you know it's uh, I tended to stick to like dog breeds because uh, they were the ones that I like doing um, yeah I mean some of the when I'd actually finished with some of the animals that I was doing I, um, I'd practically drawn the thing anyway from start to finish rather than it actual being an actual photograph an actual dog I'd practically drawn it anyway but yeah, I just can't see to do it now. So, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, do you know, if you could see, I'm hoping that um, you aren't getting the top of my head 
it won't get in the top of my head doing this because my nose is practically on top of this trying to do this <laughs> this lettering oh dear yeah i've tried using those glasses um you know the ones that have got the um sort of super lenses in and the lights on the side but I tend to find, because I do, if I start diamond painting, I do tend to do it for quite a bit. And I find that they get really heavy on your nose and then they hurt your nose. So I've not really used those very much. The best thing I've got is my magnifying light, man. It's a magnifying, really super sized magnifier. And it's got a light on it and that really does help. But that then does restrict me on whips and chats because then I find that... Uh, when I'm trying to do a whip and chat, the magnifying glass gets in the way and the light gets in the way and reflects and everything. So I've still yet to find to do a proper whip and chat so that I'm not juggling about. Uh, I have done a couple and if you see the ones I've done, they're quite funny. Because uh, there's quite a few breaks in it while I've dropped the light or the light's moved out of place or something. <laughs> Right, so let's get this little tiger wreath done. Very, very pretty. I always do all my wreaths because, again, they're going on the wall. And I don't want fluff or whatever getting on them. So I'm just sealing them. Just keeps them in place. Stops the fluff. Okay, a lot of these things now are practically dry. But I say I do tend... Well, I tend to leave them about 24 hours. The, the, the dry and they're okay you know if you wanted to hang something on the wall it's okay after a couple of hours um, you can see you know and you'll feel it as well um, that it's dry to the touch as it were but I tend to leave them 24 hours just to make sure that everything is completely sealed in place so there you are so yes doing this is the closest I get to painting now <laughs> And doing artwork but yeah definitely diamond painting has given me a new lease of life I think because it's just such an unmessy craft she says splodging glue everywhere but I mean you don't have to seal things you know you don't have to be doing this I'm just thinking I'm slipping out of focus aren't I in here so I'm staying in the middle so you can see what I'm doing but yeah uh, Certainly, you know, it's the least equipment that you need. I mean, you can buy all the extras, but I think you, know, you can just set off diamond painting and just have your painting and you could even just have your green tray and your white uh, your pink, white pen, pink pen. And off you go. You've got your bit of wax. You just need a bit of scissors, a pair of scissors to open the packets or if they come in grip seal bags, you don't even need that. You can just do it. Can't you? Brilliant. Okay, just get those edges. Right. Okay, you'll have to let me know if you want to see any of these um, after they've been uh, after they've dried, and you want to see for yourselves that uh, the sparkle is still there and it's not dulled anything down. You know, there's A B's on this, and there's crystals. So. We've got the variety of the different ones on here. Okay, let's just uh, do this one. I think actually, I know I've got the bus to do, but I think I'm going to stop the video after this one. Because I think I can hear my name being mentioned and cups of tea and food and stuff. And with the best will in the world, if they do it themselves, it'll probably take me three hours to clean the kitchen after they've done it. So it's easier for me to just do it. <laughs> Clean the kitchen the other day and hubby decided he's going to bake uh, one of our neighbours our lovely neighbours had given us some plums off his plum tree and there was far too many of us well too many of them for us to eat all at once so hubby decided he wanted to make a plum pie and he can guarantee as soon as I've got anything clean he's like I'm gonna make a plum pie and I'm like oh and I don't want to discourage him from doing things, you know, because he doesn't really do a huge, say, I ain't got any hobbies. Um, and he doesn't really get to do a huge amount of things. I know it sounds awful, he doesn't do anything, but, you know, he, he does his best. Um, 
so yeah i decided right i'll let him do it but yeah then i did take quite a while because obviously he's in his wheelchair so it's not the easiest thing to maneuver around the kitchen uh, and doing ingredients and rolling pastry we have got a table that's like level for him now i think i've mentioned before so he's not having to work on the kitchen countertops because they're far too high for him so yeah we ended up with plum pie so then we gave the neighbor, neighbor some pie so he gave us some plum plums and we gave him some pie back right well as i say i can hear them uh, calling me and this has gone on for quite a while as well so i'm going to finish this here for now i will get my little bus sealed as well i will do that one uh, later on but i won't come back on film and do that hi i'm back again so i'm just going to quickly show you all of my projects now that they have all dried and as you can see hopefully you can see they're very very sparkly still so the bus is yeah look at the sparkle on that oh we've got an extra diamond stuck on there i'll have to try and get that off this is the trouble <laughs> extra ones just seem to appear from nowhere so yeah so this is the sparkly bus hopefully you're catching that sparkle but yeah it's all nice and solid now those gems are not going anywhere so it's going to be well used because obviously you've got to take the bottom off to get your tissues out and you don't want these gems moving on here and nothing is moving so that's really good but yeah so plain gems resin drills uh, they still stay sparkly okay let's have a look this one's got a few um, of the larger sparkles on it and i think you can see the large ones here are still very sparkly and all the blacks and there is a bit of movement still in it. It's not like it's completely solid and gone rock hard or anything. You know, this is on this um, like foam. I think it's EVA, foam leather. And uh, yeah, it's still very, very pliable. So, you know, if you want to bend it and make it into a different shape or whatever, or just keep it flat, that's fine. And then the little bulldog, he had some little... Um, marquees for his claws there and just all the plain gems again but yep yeah, plenty of sparkle and here we are my dog is not spoilt i'm just well trained again we've got the gold here and the gold is still shining and i love that blue that deep like midnight blue is just fantastic really come out well really pleased with that so that will now go on the wall because there's nothing going to move on it. There's no movement. There's no sticky anywhere. So it's just going to hang up like a normal sign. Okay, the glow in the dark drills. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to see that until it's dark. <laughs> but yeah, they've just covered. And I think you can see sort of a bit of a greeny tinge to it. Um, I'll try and get them when it's completely dark, but it is quite difficult to do. But I'll see what I can do with those. Uh, this one had your pearls and your uh, crystals and everything on. I'm trying to find one with an AB. I'm not quite sure I did one with an AB on. Maybe I should have found one that had an AB. But certainly your gems just are still... Oh, I think that might have been an AB. But you still, yeah, it has got some sort of a coating on it. Still nice and sparkly. And your little Christmas tree. So don't worry about sealing your diamonds, your drills, um any of your say ABs or whatever whatever colour but if you are worried just get one of the spare ones because you mainly get spares with all your drills and just stick it down on somewhere and just put a bit of um, whatever sealer you've got over the top of it let it dry and uh, see what happens but I think as you saw when I was putting it on you don't need a huge amount and then finally this which hopefully I will be using tonight to put my remote control in so that Millie doesn't lay on it so yeah we've got I'll put it that way so you can see it a bit better but you can see the sparkle on all the clear crystals the pink the gold and the blacks shining out as well because uh, the craft body sealer dries clear then it's just like a clear coating over the top it isn't stopping anything from sparkling or from getting in anywhere 
so I just thought uh, seeing as I was showing you sealing uh, and hopefully giving you a few hints and tips that you might like to see the after effect as to what they look like once they've uh, all dried and they're all okay so I'll pass you on to the outro bye for now so i hope you've enjoyed seeing this i hope uh, i've managed to give you a few tips about sealing if you've got any questions leave them in the comments down below if you've enjoyed seeing this as always a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button just down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now